Yo, what up fam? Today I like to talk about the new machine integration into Ableton. Using the drum rack, shout out to Paul Peanuts. You have to do this with a VST. So if you use the audio unit, a lot of you guys had some issues with this. Come on Apple, what the f And as a bonus, we use the machine as an instrument rack so we can play chords instead of one MIDI drum note. As you can use multiple instances of machine in one project, mother f Play it. First we place a drum rack on a MIDI channel. Then we place external instruments on the, all the pads. Then we put the machine on a drum rack. And we load a kit. Set all external instruments MIDI to drum rack. And the corresponding MIDI channels. Set all external instruments audio from the machine outputs. <sighs> Create another MIDI channel to control and record all the pads. Select MIDI from drum rack, machine 2. Select MIDI 2, drum rack, drum rack. Now set all the MIDI output settings to the host. Set all the channels sound MIDI input to host and the corresponding channels and disable the true. If you want, you can rename all the names so it's clear. Now we set the channel sound output transpose to the corresponding note that is on the drum rack. In this case, it's C1. Now you can record and play back all the MIDI that's coming out of the machine. So now we're gonna use machine as an instrument rack. So we create a MIDI channel, put the drum rack on. Put external instruments on the other pads. Now we set the MIDI from external instrument to instrument rack MIDI channel and machine 2. Add a MIDI channel per instrument. Set MIDI from instrument rack machine 2 and MIDI to instrument rack MIDI channel machine 2 and the corresponding pad channel. Set MIDI 2 from external instrument to instrument rack, MIDI channel and machine 2. The trick here is that we leave one channel free in machine to control sounds on the first pad when we select what channel we want to record. Go inside the machine plugin. Set all corresponding audio outputs in the channel settings. 
set all corresponding media outputs to host and correct channel in the channel settings. Set all corresponding media inputs to host and correct channel in channel settings. Disable the true. Now you can play and record chords on the corresponding MIDI channels. Or you could just download this ALS file. Thanks for watching and see you later!